Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting school year. So we have a new school year upon us. That means a lot of schools are, are moving into the G Suite platform. This video is going to be the first video of a, a series that we're going to be doing here. Um, walking you through the Google Admin Console uh, with some recommended features, telling you little tips and tricks along the way to help set up uh, the best Google Admin Console you can have so that way you and your students have an amazing school year. So stick with us and uh, let's get to learning. Hi everybody, so today we're going to be looking at the company profile tab within the Google Admin Console. Uh, there's a couple settings in there that I think are worthwhile enabling. Um, so we're going to dive in and take a look. So here I am at the company profile. Go ahead and click on that. And the first one we're going to look at is the profile section. So I'm going to scroll down until we get to the support message. Now this is a support message that will show up on the Google Hub. Uh, for those of you not familiar with it, you can click on the little question mark here and it'll take you to uh, a really nice explanation of what the user hub is. But basically, it's all the different apps that we have pushed out for our organization. Uh, people can find more information about it. They can click and they can install them from here. And we notice at the top I have included here a customizable message. And really what this does is it allows users, especially in a large organization, you know, this would be where if you had like a specific help desk or a specific person that was in charge of handling questions about the Google apps and what they should get. It's a nice little way to say, hey, here's the person you should reach out to. And so to fill that in, it's under the support message. And so for here, I said, for help with your Google account, please reach out to. And I included a user and the contact information there. The next feature that I want to look at is down here where it says new user features. Now there's two options. We have a rapid release and a scheduled release option. And as it says in the description, the scheduled release usually arrives one to two weeks after the rapid release. Now for me personally, I like the latest Google tools. I want to try it. I want to play with it. Um, and I don't want to have to wait one to two weeks to get that new feature, especially when I hear about it on Twitter or I'm watching videos on YouTube. I want to be able to play with the newest, coolest toys. Um, so for me and for our organization, the rapid release schedule has worked really well. Now, if you're in a, a school or a, a building that maybe you are not comfortable yet or maybe your users aren't going to be that comfortable with some of the newer features, you can choose the scheduled release and this will delay those those new features by a couple weeks and it allow you some time to, to train and get your staff prepared for them. Um, I can tell you from our experiences, the rapid release, we really haven't uh, experienced any issues with it. And for my power users and for, of course, myself, I get the latest and greatest Google has to offer. So I really do like that. The next thing I want to show you guys, scroll on down until you get to the personalization tab. So I'm going to open up this. And what this does is it allows you to upload a custom logo. And I really do like this because, as, as I can speak for myself, I have a lot of different Google accounts. I have my personal one, my work one, um, and then my wife uses this computer, so she has one. And so there's a lot of different user profiles that I have on this computer. And by installing a custom logo, it just is that little reminder that, oh yeah, this, I'm in my work email. I'm in my personal email. And it just allows me to separate them because of course my personal email is going to have the Google logo as well. So by replacing it with the work email or the work logo, it just gives that one little reminder like, hey, you are using your, your managed work account versus a personal account. And I think as, as you know, I'm certainly talking about this from a, an employee standpoint, but also for students, because we, we know our students are going to have their personal accounts and their school accounts. 
And this again is that one little reminder that, hey, by the way, you're in a, a your school account. So I really think it's valuable to upload that logo there. So I hope this video was uh, helpful and informative. Um, we're going to be producing a lot of these videos over the next couple of weeks. So please make sure you click that little subscribe button right there. And uh, check out some of these other videos we've made talking about our Google console right over here. And if there's a video or a topic or a question that you have, leave it in the comments down below. So thank you guys. Aaron with AOP Tech. Have a great day.